morning guys it is friday the 2nd of february yes we are finally out of the longest january in the history of january's ever ever that long january did give me a chance to shift some weight so let's be happy for small blessings <laughs> but i'm just up with the dogs it's like about 9 30 i've already fed them cleaned the kitchen done all my little morning routine and now i'm about to have my coffee and my carrot cake muffin as i have every morning welcome to a full day of low carb eating so here we have some breakfast guys as you know i kind of semi intermittent fast so first thing in the morning i'll have one of these muffins but not a significant meal i have my decaf coffee i've got one spoon of sweetener in there as you can see i have it on a weighing scales because yes i weigh out and log everything i'm going to weigh out 30 ml of the coconut almond milk and then i'm going to try and get my way through this throughout the morning as i sit answering emails etc mm, all those carrots help and the coffee this morning I weighed in at 118 pounds. I'm quite pleased with that. So my weight is still consistently dropping. My aim is still to get down to about 108 pounds. I have a feeling I may be up at 109 pounds on stage, but that's just me kind of gut feeling because I'm feeling quite lean right now. And what I usually look like at 116 pounds, I feel I look like now. So that's a good way of kind of gauging as well, knowing your body and what it looks like and feels like in clothing. The last couple of days I've just been on it with editing, getting footage up for you guys. I know you're really appreciating all my videos and my content being more consistent and I'm going to stay on it because it's helping me stay motivated putting out just like basic information of what's going on day to day in my life. If you haven't watched any of my previous videos, I am calling this series Mrs. Bikini, simply because the last series I've put up is the Newly Shreds, and I feel like I'm continuing on with that. So from Newly Shreds to Mrs. Bikini. I don't know, Lex doesn't like the name, but for me, it's just a name for a series. So check out the rest of the videos because some of them, for some reason, YouTube is not pushing them into my subscribers' boxes to show. So the, some of the videos are getting really good views and then some of them, which are full of good content and training footage, are not getting the views, guys. So go back through my videos and if you haven't watched it, go and have a look because they all have the same information that I provide in all my videos and a lot of them do have training footage in them now. I always put in little tips and points during my training videos of how to improve your training. Today I'll be doing a full day of eating as I said because I haven't done that in a while and I didn't want to saturate my channel with just full day of eating every day because my eating doesn't really change that much day to day but I think it will be interesting for you guys to see how I cope with my low carb days. I'm having five low carb days at the moment and two kind of higher refeed days. In all my previous preps, I've coached myself with Lex kind of helping in the background, but mostly I just decided what I was doing for my body myself. Whereas this time I felt like I needed someone to be accountable to. And that is why it can be important to have a coach. If you feel like you're doing everything right, but something isn't happening or you need that little extra push, maybe invest in a coach. I myself am still doing online coaching. So if you're interested in getting into tracking your macros or even doing a competition prep, I am available. But my coach is an American guy. I check in with him once a week. He's called William Grazione. I actually asked Amanda Bucci who her coach had been because I know that she has a similar um, mindset about food and training as I do. So I reached out to her and she told me that this is who she's used for the past couple of years and he's amazing. So he will be seeing me through not only my competition prep but also after my competition prep when I want to stay lean and maintain the body I have gotten. Now we have an ASDA delivery coming. I've actually ordered ASDA and Tesco today because I don't want to you know, give any preferential treatment to any supermarket. So we've got the ASDA delivery here. The dog's looking very interested. I'll take you through a few of the bits and bobs that I've gotten. It's my usual ASDA delivery. And before you ask, getting online shopping does not mean I am lazy. It's actually saving me time. It's more time effective. And it's particularly when I'm on prep, I don't really want to walk around a supermarket and see all the delicious foods that they have on offer. I just want to get what I need for me in the convenience 
of the time scale that I needed to be delivered. I can just totter away on the app on my phone when I'm watching TV, picking up all the bits and pieces during the week as I go, and then I get it ordered when it's convenient for me. So it's not a point of laziness. It's actually a lot cheaper. It's a lot more time efficient. I'm saving money. I'm saving calories. If you don't have online delivery, I haven't tried it. Just try it once. It's so handy. Always ask for the subs to be turned on. So if they don't have what you want, they will substitute it for something very similar. Sometimes it can be entertaining to see what they sub. But most of the time you get a very similar item and sometimes it's a more expensive item but you only get charged the original price. So here we have it all unpacked. Fruit and veggies. So I'll just quickly take you through. Here we've got Lex's berries, we've got blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. I've got some sweet peppers, lemon, garlic, carrot, pineapple. We've got some brambly apples, which I'm going to make into a crumble for Lex. We've got some of these little bananas. I've got some spring onion, rocket and spinach. So there is the health. That is pure five a day health. Here we have some more health. We've got my mushrooms because I love me some mushrooms. We've got some asparagus and tip of the day, ladies and gentlemen, is when you are feeling bloated, if you're retaining water, just add some asparagus into your diet that day and it definitely does help. It is a natural diuretic and it will help with any bloating you're feeling. We've got the Brussels sprouts full of fiber, full of farts. These are one of my favorites at the moment. They're the Activity 0% Fat Yogurt and they have eight grams of carbs per yogurt. They are really super tasty, especially if you're into muesli like I am, but usually can't fit it into my macros. You may or may not know, I cannot for the life of me cook rice, so I'm very lazy and I buy the microwavable rice. I really like this sun-dried tomato one, it just has that little extra flavor to it. And then we've got just some brown balsamati, whole grain rice. Again, Lex's favorite is the rhubarb and vanilla yogurt from Asda, it's fat-free, and he just adds that with his fruit in the morning. I've got some black pudding because I love a bit of black pudding, I do. Then again, more convenience than anything else. I do have regular sweet potato, but I like to just have this for those evenings where I'm feeling a bit lazy and I can just microwave myself up some health. So sweet potato mash and then Lex likes the classic mash. Oftentimes they don't have my coconut almond milk, so I doubled up on my coconut almond milk, so I'm not disappointed next time. And they do have a long shelf life. It has a March expiry date, but the coconut almond milk from Alpro is my favorite for adding to my coffee. Then Lex gets his best of both, which is skim milk that tastes like semi skim milk. We have some all bran original. I'd actually ordered that as the own brand, but they obviously subbed it for the all bran. And Lex just adds that to his cereal to bulk it up and it's just packed full of fiber. So if you're struggling to get fiber in, there is another option for you. We're very much into our corn and rice cakes right now. We go through phases of it. So these blueberry vanilla ones are like a sweet one. And then we've got this spicy chili one, which is obviously a savory one. Lex hasn't had fig rolls in a while because he doesn't normally trust himself, but I've treated him to a pack of fig rolls. The Oppo is definitely my favorite healthy ice cream. I am hopefully going to get to try all the Halo Top soon, but definitely this is my go-to guys. If you haven't tried it, try the Oppo Colombian chocolate hazelnut ice cream. It's really good and has good macros too. Moving swiftly on, we have the options hot chocolates. I just like to keep these because in the evening, sometimes I don't have many macros left and I might have a few grams of carbs or whatever. And I like to have one of them just to warm me up and get that chocolate fix. We have the Italian seasoning, which I add to chicken a lot, and it's just really, really tasty. Balsamic vinegar, I go through a lot of this, guys. I add it to everything. I add it to my mushrooms, I add it to my veggies, and it just makes everything taste so good, and it's completely guilt-free. Then moving on to bread. I don't eat a lot of bread, and I actually keep it in the freezer to keep it fresh, because I just toast it in the morning for my breakfast, and that's about it. This is the Nimble Whole Meal, which is my go-to. It's just a low-carb bread. It's like smaller slices, thinner slices, and it just feels a little bit more healthy than having a regular slice. These warped and soft whole meal rolls are what I use for any burgers I make. They have good macros. Per burger, it's 2.2 fat, 20 carb. That's pretty much what I get from Asda, guys. I am I'm going to be getting some more stuff from Tesco's. Hopefully I'll be getting my Halo Top delivered and when I have my high carb day I will be having a nice big bowl of ice cream. 
so as I said I'll have a high day tomorrow and Sunday so two high days coming up coming at me and I cannot wait because I'm gonna have a big bowl of oats a big bowl of ice cream Bailey, where's your friend gone? First caffeinated coffee of the day and I made it a big one. Then I've made Lex some fruit. So we've got some blueberries, raspberries, bananas, strawberries and some yogurt and a cup of tea. I don't make his breakfast every morning, but occasionally I'm feeling you know, generous with my time. So yeah, I just decided to be nice this morning and make him some breakfast. A frequent question I get asked right now while I'm in prep is about my cardio and what I am doing. Right now I'm not doing a lot of cardio, I'm doing three 20 minute steady state cardio sessions per week. That means that going forward in my prep, my coach will have more to play with when it comes to energy expenditure and burning those calories. So I feel like my macros may not change a lot over the coming weeks, but I think that the cardio is gonna go up. Honestly, I prefer to just mess around with my food because I find it easier to eat lower amounts of food than to do a lot of cardio. I find cardio very challenging and difficult. So that is all ahead of me. I'm hoping that this week I won't have much of a change again because once I'm dropping my weight, I feel like my coach doesn't need to adjust my macros or my cardio when we are seeing results. So right now I'm gonna do my cardio, which consists of, yes, the stepper is back. And the only reason I'm using the stepper right now is that it is perfect for hitting the steady state. I like to do my cardio at home. Um, I just feel a lot more comfortable getting all sweaty and gross while I'm at home in my own house. And then I tend to have a shower after my cardio is done. And then I hit the gym and do my training in the gym separately. As you can see behind me, I also have my rowing machine and I also have a weighted ball and um, I'm not sure what they're called like a medicine ball so I tend to do some ab exercises after my cardio in the morning so I'll just lay that out and do some simple weighted sit-ups and just oblique twists for my abs because I want to get them really looking good and full for the competition a lot of people ask me about my abs because obviously they are quite dominant on my body and it's something that kind of sets me apart from a lot of other fitness girls is that i do have quite dominant abs i am quite blessed that i have a strong core and i've always had quite a small waist and dominant abs but still i tend to train them a couple of days a week nothing too intense just to get them looking a little bit more toned and full but the main way to get your abs visible is to get your diet right there's no point in training your abs every day and then eat all the wrong foods you have to be taking in the right food to shift the fat from around the tummy you cannot target fat loss from any part of your body a question I get asked all the time is how to shift fat from various parts of the body you cannot do this you cannot tell your body to lose fat from a particular location if that was the case I would have the most amazing legs ever but unfortunately I have to work really hard and be patient with my diet to see the results in my legs my body loses the fat from the upper body and the core region first and then lastly it is the legs obviously toning your muscle will make it look nicer it will make it appear more svelte but to get rid of fat is diet. So now I'm gonna hit up my cardio and hashtag cardio is hardio. <laughs> ingredients for my breakfast. I've got some egg whites which I'm going to scramble up with some of this Eat Lean grated protein cheese. I've got some Hovis Nimble Bread which I'm going to toast up. I'm going to mix in some spinach with some of these chestnut mushrooms 
and then topped off the protein with some bacon medallion. Here we have breakfast. I've got 110 grams of egg whites scrambled with about 15 grams of lean cheese. We've got two slices of nimble bread with some marmite on top. I have some bacon medallions, three of them, and then I have some mushrooms which have been sauteed with some spinach in a balsamic vinegar. I'm going to add about 10 grams of this Heinz 50% less sugar and salt tomato ketchup and the French's yellow mustard. This and hers coffee on the go. This is Lex's. It's like a long espresso shot with some light squirty cream it's kind of starting to melt now and then mine has 90 ml of the coconut almond milk which i've frothed up and i've added some of this white chocolate skinny syrup and a shot of espresso to it so one of the things that you can get caught out on when tracking your macros is milk in coffees a lot of people think of oh, skinny cappuccino that's fine but that's actually a lot of carbs a grande skinny latte from Starbucks, even though you're saving on the fats, you're actually getting about 20 grams of carbs in that one coffee. So just be more aware of it. I'm not saying don't drink milk or take your coffee black, but I just think you need to be tracking everything when you want to drop weight. So I'm talking about milk and coffee, condiments, dressings, all these kind of things all add up to extra calories. So if you're wondering why you're not dropping weight, maybe track all them things for a day and you might see a difference. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee with this yummy cookie. They're so good. In one of my last videos, I said that they didn't taste like a cookie, but in that batch of cookies that I received, they just taste way better. They taste way more like a cookie. They still have like a super chocolatey taste like a brownie, but they just, they have improved them. They're way better. So I retract that statement of them not being like a cookie because they definitely are far more cookie-like and they are one of my favorite go-to snacks. Just showered and half dressed nearly there but i thought i'd give you a quick physique update if you watch my instagram i am doing daily morning updates on my physique so check me out right now i feel like i am getting quite lean i have hit my new low in as i said and i feel like the weight has started to drop off my midsection quite well and my arms i really am seeing it round there the fat dropping off unfortunately as i said before you cannot target fat loss so i still have fat and cellulite round the back of my legs i'm hoping over the next 10 weeks that will reduce in appearance unfortunately cellulite is just something that i have to deal with it's a normal occurrence in women so don't beat yourself up about having cellulite or stretch marks because everyone has them somewhere on their body it is completely normal nobody is perfect i'm simply showing you my physique update not to make you feel bad about yourself or to beat yourself up about not having the same physique as me but to show you my progression throughout my prep if following someone on social media makes you feel bad about yourself or makes you sh feel shitty about yourself realistically why are you following them maybe it's time to look at other people to follow that you find more motivating i'm not encouraging anyone to stop following me i really appreciate all the love and support i get online but honestly for your own mental health and self-esteem if someone on social media is making you feel uncomfortable or inadequate maybe it's time to look at new people to encourage you. Now, long story short, here is my physique update. I hope you enjoy.
gym my tesco online delivery has just arrived and i'm going to quickly take you through the few items which i picked up from tesco as i said before halo top the perfect healthy ice cream treat for when you're dieting so i have gotten the sea salt the peanut butter cup chocolate chip cookie dough and cinnamon roll. I haven't tried the cinnamon roll yet, so I'm looking forward to trying that. I've sampled the peanut butter cup and it honestly tastes like they have melted down Reese's cups and put it into ice cream form. I've obviously doubled up on my best of both milk for Lex. I got one of these nice candles. It's a Glade Volcanic Coconut Coast one, which will help with the smell of these guys. Then we also have some Lilt Zero, some Pepsi Max. The diet drinks are essential for me while I'm dieting. It really helps quench my sweet tooth. I've got more of the asparagus, as I said, great for water retention and bloating. I got Lex some of this high protein bread from Tesco. The macros on it are pretty good. Per slice, it's 2.6 grams of fat because it's quite seeded. And then we have 10 grams of carbs and 5.1 grams of protein. So pretty good for a bread. We've got some grated carrot, which I use in stir fries and in my carrot cake muffins. We have the chestnut mushrooms. We also have some laughing cow mature cheddar light. And this really does taste like cheddar if you're looking for something yummy for in a sandwich or a wrap. And then we have the eat lean protein cheese. Now I usually get this from Muscle Food, but we ran out. So I decided to pick it up from Tesco because it's available in your supermarket. Before I head to the gym, I'm just going to have one of these super fruity yogurts, as I always do, topped with some of the Dr. Zach's powdered peanut butter. And that's going to be my pre-workout carbs. I know it seems pretty stingy, but I am trying to stretch my carbs out throughout the day. And I will have a more carb heavy dinner afterwards. I'm not going to record my workout today because my workout that I'm doing today has already been uploaded two videos ago. It is a back and shoulders workout. I will link that video at the end and in the description for this video if you want to check out a really good back and shoulder workout. Guys, I'm in from the gym and I'm just preparing some dinner. I'm doing a bit of meal prep. So this is what you could do if you were doing meal prep on a Sunday, just do more of it. And then you have some meals ready for the week or for lunches, whatever you fancy. But these are so super tasty and handy. You can just keep it in Tupperware in the fridge and then microwave it when you want it. Getting the micronutrients in, I am going to boil up some of this asparagus and I've halved um, a bag of the Brussels sprouts. Then I'm going to roast it in the oven with these red onions and red peppers once they're just kind of softened and parboiled. Over here we have two large chicken breasts from Muscle Food. Now these are the premium chicken breasts so they're quite big. They're about 160 grams each. They come in a 2.5 kg bag and I usually just separate them into pairs and freeze them. So these have been defrosted. I've just cut them up into thirds. What I'm going to simply do is marinate them in paprika, garlic granules, salt and pepper and then I'm going to add some of this Frank's hot sauce and then the key to keeping the chicken breast moist is just a tablespoon of the Faye Total Percent Greek yogurt. And then you just marinate it all and then put it in the oven with the veggies. Serve this with rice, with sweet potato, with sweet mashed sweet potato, um, with whatever you like. I have already prepared some acorn squash, which I chopped up and roasted in the oven during the week. So I'm just gonna microwave some of that up. It's quite a handy, flexible bunch of stuff to have just in the fridge that you can just throw together a meal that you don't have to be under time constraints. So this is what the chicken looks like all marinated up. And I'm just simply going to put it into some tinfoil that I've sprayed with some of the fry like garlic spray. Over here we have the red peppers and the red onion and I have the Brussels sprouts and the asparagus in here parboiling and again I'm using the fry like garlic spray and I'm seasoning it with salt and pepper. I'll also add some of this balsamic vinegar to the veggies and it'll just give it that extra little kick and a nice flavour. Ooh, it's so colourful. So there are the veggies ready to go in the oven. Sprayed again with some more of the garlic fry light and generous amount of the balsamic vinegar. 
So guys, I also have started doing this Slim Zone range, which is really convenient because everything is cooked from frozen. They have a number of meals and um, meats and different things that are cooked from frozen, but I found these Slim Zone steam bags. I'm gonna try them tonight for the first time. Now this is the cauliflower rice, quinoa and lentil. And there's, there's 11 gram of carbs per sachet, 8.4 grams of fiber. So pack full of fiber and there's even 5.5 grams of protein and I'm just going to add that to my meal with some of the baked acorn squash and just have a big hearty meal for my dinner. While I wait for my dinner to cook I'm going to have some decaf coffee because I'm just really cold and I'm going to top it with a little bit of this squirty cream because I've got loads of fats left. As always I'm going to be having a very peanutty shake before bed. So here we have plenty of leftover veggies to bulk up my meals over the next couple of days. Finished product for dinner, we got the chicken, we got the roasted veggies, the acorn squash and the quinoa and cauliflower rice. Over here we have a very, very simple version because Lex isn't into the veggies as much as me. So he gets some sweet potato mash, chicken and some barbecue sauce gotten to the end of the day and I feel like this is the fun part of flexible dieting that at the end of the day I like to make up like a smoothie bowl or a smoothie or a flexi bowl of all the things that I've been craving during the day to fit my macros so today I have a lot of fats left over I have some protein and some carbs I'm making myself a smoothie in my ninja to fit my macros first of all I have some ice I'm going to add 100 grams of frozen raspberries 20 grams of cake Casein. Now casein is good for taking in at night because it is a slow release protein so it helps you feel fuller for longer. So for me I obviously am cutting right now and because I'm on lower intake I am a lot more hungry at night time so the casein really helps just quell my hunger. I'm gonna have 30 grams of this peanut butter because I have a lot of fats left over. I really didn't divvy up my food very well today. Normally I try and space out my macros throughout the day but today I just didn't think and my fats just got away from me so yes I get to have peanut butter. I'm also going to add in just a couple of grams of the PB2 just to add an extra peanut butter flavor. Okay guys here we have it my smoothie Technically it's like a smoothie bowl, except I'm not gonna bother taking it out of this cup. I'm gonna have to eat it with that big long spoon. Feels like you're having like a proper ice cream dessert. So if you're having a lot of cravings and you're dieting right now, this is like the perfect, perfect solution. That is it, that is my food for the day. I've hit my macros, I've hit my cardio, I've hit the gym. I hope you've got some motivation to get on the diet train with me and hopefully I will see you in the next vlog. Laters! Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, buy them all to Paris, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would party, and we would dance, and we would throw up our damn hands until they turn to cry. Short to be an asshole